Hey, this is Paul with Wondershare and Mobile Trans, the leading software tool for transferring your data between your iOS and your Android devices safely and securely. We all hope you had a great New Year's and you're excited for 2022. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. It's going to be more of an FAQ style video where we answer many of your recent questions from our previous videos, helping you out with some of those common questions that we found in them. First off, thanks for taking the time to watch those videos and leaving your comments. We had a lot of very similar questions, so again, we're going to be categorizing them as best as possible to help the majority of you out. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all our latest how-tos and tutorials. And that way, if you do have any other questions, you might see them in a future FAQ video that we'll make and post here. Our first question comes from Muhammad who asks, what if during uploading the backup file to Google account, there are any new incoming chat messages? since we usually have lots of group text. I'm pretty sure that those messages won't appear in that backup file, and when we restore back to the same account on the new phone, those latest messages will be missing, right? Muhammad, you're right. Anytime you receive a message during or after the uploading process of that backup file, they won't be saved to the backup file. That's one of the downsides to this method. What you can do to work around this though is by using the Mobile Trans WhatsApp tool that we have had a couple tutorials on showing you how to use. While it won't be automatic, it will be able to give you the latest up-to-date backup for all your messages, provided you connect to your computer each time and select a backup. Compared to the Google Drive method, which limits the devices you can upload and restore between, our method has more features and will allow you to save all your data, including your media files. And that way, again, if you're switching between Android or iPhone or iPhone to Android, or even between those devices, you can have all your data safely backed up and available to restore whenever you need to. Our next question comes from Marwash, who is interested in WhatsApp transfers from iPhone to iPhone. He asks how to transfer all data, including WhatsApp data from an old iPhone like the five or six, to a new iPhone 13 Pro if your old iPhone does not support iOS 15? So that's a really good question, especially as older iPhones like the 5 and 6 no longer support updates to the latest iOS version, you might think that the WhatsApp transfer and backup process is a little bit different. That said, our WhatsApp transfer tool does support all iOS versions, so provided your phone has a working version of WhatsApp already logged in, our tool will be able to safely backup and restore the data from that phone. Our next two questions are pretty similar as they both pertain to transferring WhatsApp data from an Android to an iPhone. The first question is from Profile88BG, who has a three-part question. Hi, could you please tell me if you were able to transfer all WhatsApp data, images, voice notes, videos, or just the chat? And secondly, in case you had unread messages, did the chats appear unread? And lastly, did you lose anything or were you able to transfer everything smoothly? To answer the first part of your question, yes, you can transfer all types of data from your WhatsApp account, your attachments, your videos, music, everything from your WhatsApp account on your old device will be able to be transferred to your new one. Using our WhatsApp transfer tool, all you have to do is select all the types of data that you want transferred and initiate that transfer process. And then yes, to the second part of your question, any unread messages on your old phone will also appear as unread on the new device. The mobile trans tool retains all the data from your old session so anything that remained unread will still appear unread on your new device. And then to the last part of your question, no, you're not going to lose any data during the transfer process. Again, all you have to do is make sure that you're selecting all the types of data that you want to transfer over to the new device. So if you want everything, select all those categories. And then on the new phone, you need to make sure that you have enough free space available so that the transferred data has enough space to be loaded onto there. That said, we always recommend and it's always a good idea to actually do a backup first before initiating the transfer process. That way, if anything goes wrong with your phones itself or with the software, you'll have a backup to restore from. Of course, you can either use the backup tool that's built into our software, or you can use any alternative method too, like Google Drive if you wanna back it up to the cloud, or saving and downloading it to your phone for a local copy as well. Hopefully that helps you out with that transfer process. If you have any questions or anything else doesn't make sense during the process, let us know and we'll try to help you out there. Our next question comes from MK2 who asks, I have about 17,000 videos and photos and hundreds of chats on my Android device. Will all of them be transferred to the iPhone 12 Pro Max using your software? Or are there any limits? What about a crash considering the number of items? If so, should I reduce the number of files or what number should I target? So yes, that's a lot of files, but using our tool, we don't have any kind of hard cap and there's no recommended amount in terms of transferring the files over. You just wanna, again, make sure that the new device that you have can support and has enough storage for all the new files that you're trying to transfer over. But going back to that last question we had, again, it's a good idea to back up the files first, have a copy of that first before starting the transfer process. As you were getting at, because the transfer process is larger, there is more room for some weird 
glitch to possibly happen. So again, just be on the safe side, back of the files up, and then initiate the transfer process just to play it safe. For all the questions that we've had so far on this video, while we do have in-depth videos showing you that backup and transfer process, we'll be giving you a quick recap here just so you can refer to it in this video and you don't have to go back to the other ones if you don't want to. So I'll give you a quick step-by-step -step guide here for how to back up your data from your old Android device and then how to restore it to your new iPhone 13 or 12 Max Pro or any other iPhone for that matter. After you install and launch Mobile Trans, click on the backup and restore button and select WhatsApp. Next, connect your Android device to your computer and wait for the tool to recognize it. After your device is recognized, select the files that you want to back up. Then click the start button to initiate the process. Mobile Trans will display on-screen instructions for how to back up your WhatsApp data on your Android device. There are a few steps here, so follow them carefully. After doing so, the data will be backed up to your old phone's local storage. During this process, make sure that the phone stays connected to your computer throughout the entire backup. And now that you have all your data securely backed up, you can start with the restore process. If it's not already launched, open Mobile Trans Backup on your computer and select WhatsApp Transfer from the home screen. Then connect your Android device and your iPhone to the computer and wait for them to both be detected. After the tool detects both devices, you'll need to specify one as the source, in this case, the old Android phone, and the other as the destination, which is the new iPhone. We've shared an example here where the devices are backwards, so in this case, you'll need to click the flip button to get that fixed. Again, since you want to transfer WhatsApp data to the iPhone, you want to select your iPhone as the destination device. Next, click Start, and the WhatsApp transfer process will begin. Depending on the size and the amount of files that you are transferring, this is going to determine how long the process takes, but it can take anywhere from a few seconds to a couple minutes if you have a lot of files. You can now disconnect both devices and you'll find all your WhatsApp data on the new phone. So there you have it. We've covered some of the main topics and questions that we've been receiving over the past couple of videos, and hopefully that's helped you out with the transfer process as well as the backup process. If you have any other questions or you need some more help, let us know in the comment section and we'll be sure to help you there. And again, if there are enough other similar questions in those comments, we'll be sure to make a follow-up FAQ so we can help you out in further detail in those videos. Thanks again for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can stay up to date with the latest uploads that we make. And until the next one, we'll catch you later.